We are back with Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I'm scared because I have to be Leatherface and people are good at this game now. It's crazy you would think that in a game like this, the killers would be the bullies, but the survivors are definitely the bullies, man. Like the killers, they just walk up to you and like kill you. But the survivors like just wait at the door and they're like, you'll never kill me. And then you come over there and then Leland knocks you over. And then as soon as you stand up, somebody stabs you in the trapezius muscle. And then because you're the cook, you go, oh, oh, my. And then they all come down and crouch on top of your body. And you're like, Leatherface, please. We need to one tap them at the exit. Their hubris is taking them too far. And they're like kicking dirt in your eye and going, nice tucked in shirt, old man. Old man, why you got the tan shirt tucked into the tan pants, old man? All I can do is my best, though. It is crazy, though. I still, I definitely have not reached the point with Texas Chainsaw Massacre where, like, when I lose, I'm mad at the game. I'm, I'm mad when I lose a sap sometimes. It's just built into my DNA, unfortunately. I think it's hard to change. But in Texas Chainsaw Massacre, when I lose, I'm like, you got me. Good one. Good one, kid. You got me. But I do have to recall, this is a non-glanceable... Whoa! I thought I got one there. This is a non-glanceable world. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> Should not be glancing at chat. Anybody? Somebody was stealing bones. Oh, they were just making too much noise. I, I was so ready to destroy this dude. Okay, I'm not messing with Leland, because Leland is actually stronger than Leatherface. Okay, Leland. Where's the rest of your squad? Oh, I'm, I got one. Lads? He stalled my chainsaw and he, he ran into me. Ah, that's me yelling. Oh, my chainsaw is not solved. Never mind. I'm okay. I gotta learn to play like Chib. Like, Chib is insane at Leatherface. He's so insane at Leatherface. I think that in our group games, he should never be allowed to play him. They've opened the door, squad. I am headed to this door. I've destroyed nothing except my own ego. I don't know how to get to the door. I'm losing confidence in myself. I'm telling myself that's okay. I'm good enough. I'm smart enough. And gosh darn it, people like me. I need to, and this is not meant to be like a, a knock on Corey. I need to not do what Corey did though. Because what Corey did was stay in the basement like 100% of the game. <laughs> and then me and Apollo were on the second floor begging for help, going, please, please. Begging for the location through text of any survivor. Anybody? This is not locked, so that's bad. This is not... Oh, this one is locked. To what extent, though? Level zero grandpa? It's not looking amazing out here. Fuse is still here. Grandpa's power has increased. Guys, I think we're in... We're about to be embarrassed, quite frankly. I'm not saying I'm doing much to... Beat the allegations, but... Left it unlocked? Brother, it, sta it started unlocked! And that's why I walked up to it and said, this door is unlocked. Oh, maybe I didn't lock the second one. In which case, I gotta get back there. Whoa! I'm a genius. Yeah, get her. Get her. 
She's going up. She's going up. You do that. I'll, I'll stick at the ladder. Mm -mm. You chase her up there? You chase her up to Grandpa? Nope. Okay. All right. That's fine. That's fine. I didn't want to just be the second person doing the blind shit. Maybe they went up. Maybe they went up instead. Maybe they went down. Okay. I am going to make sure that this door is locked. It was locked. Okay. This one cannot be locked. They had already unlocked it. Thank you. He does move like a fall guy. You're not wrong. I need some clues and I need some comms, please. <laughs> some clues and some comms. Anybody? See that we've got the the hitchhiker down there doing what hitchhikers do. Got some individuals down here in the north storage room. This might be my chance. I'm blind. Bro, go, 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 go! Did you see him? You hear that? Somebody's getting murdered. We did it, team! We did it! I'm proud of us. This one has not been opened. They must have gone... Um, Slaughterhouse. I can't go that way. Yes, I can. Yes, I've learned the map. Oh, they're gone. <laughs> I think they're waiting at the exit for us to teabag. Or for them to teabag us, I should say. We can do this, brother. Get get your chainsaw to full power. Rush them. Are we doing this? You you have to turn off the car battery, and then maybe I can one tap them. That's the only shot. Can you turn off the car battery, please? He's probably typing in all chat right now about how this is all my fault, and that's fine. You're not going to turn off the car battery. Okay, so it's on cooldown. Okay, all right. What if it just bugged? And then we, it worked. <laughs> Imagine if we just beat the odds and it started working, man. Mm -mm. Okay, ready? You gotta you gotta time it perfectly. <laughs> there we oh, I appreciate that, thank you. Here they come. Survivors need a nerf? Well, I don't know if they need... Well, maybe they do. I don't know. I don't play at that competitive of a level, quite frankly. But they definitely need to have some kind of, like... Anti-griefing mechanic on the survivors. Classic ASIM comment, survivors need a nerf? Well, I mean, like, there's only, like, two games in this genre that have ever reached any level of critical mass, right? This and Dead by Daylight. Okay, well, obviously, like, I'm not going up against these guys again. Put me in another match. Friday the 13th? 
I have a bias against Friday the 13th because the one time we played it, it didn't make any sense. And uh, I remember we got in the car and we were trying to leave and Jason walked over to our car, touched it with his knife, and then the car did like 80 barrel rolls, but we could not escape. So eventually we just had to get out of the car so that Jason could kill us. I'd like to be the cook. I did it, thank you, sir, you gentleman and a scholar. I just think, like, I don't really even mind the survivors maybe being a little overpowered. It's more like um, they shouldn't be able to just wait at the exit for you to then run over and then we just look at each other for a while. That's just crazy. You think you'd ever wear that your pants that high? Well, yeah, I make all my decisions based on menswear guy poster on Twitter. And he said high pants are based, which is why I've started dressing like uh, Rudy Giuliani. It is crazy. I don't know what happens to older dudes that like uh, so often they start wearing their pants like at the midpoint of their rib cage. They're shrinking. Yeah, but not like eight inches. <laughs> It's like their, their inseam went from being at like their groin to being at their, at their solar plexus. Yeah, I guess it is belly hiding technology. Kind of look like they're wearing a zoot suit or something. Look like they're trying out for the oldest kid in Swing Kids. Skinny old guys do it too? I only know one skinny old guy. It's David Byrne. Maybe Bill Nye? No, I think Bill Nye does wear his pants pretty high. What is Swing Kids? A movie about the rise of swing dancing in um, early Nazi Germany set against the background of impending peril and trauma. I watched it in every single history class from 7th grade to 11th grade, I think. <laughs> it's okay. I think it's an okay movie. Same. Is it like a Canadian thing? Is it a Canadian-American-German production? Because it's like, it seems like that's a, a certified Canadian school classic. It does have the oncologist from House. You're not wrong. That and Remember the Titans. That is, there's something about Remember the Titans. I grew up in Canada, obviously, and I, we, my school did not have a football team. We still watch Remember the Titans like one to two times a year in every class. And after you watch Remember the Titans, you run a mile. We watched it in my German school. It's a good movie. I got nothing against Remember the Titans, but... Yahoo! These have to be padlocked. Best sports movie is A Knight's Tale. Okay, here's my, my question, because I didn't know about the fact that we all have exactly the same shared experience, despite thinking that we're unique. What other movies are considered certified school classics? Because we definitely watched a ton of A Knight's Tale in school as well. Radio? I meant like not ironically.
day after tomorrow really we ours was definitely i watched milo and otis like six times in grade school for sure um also without a doubt armageddon was an extremely popular choice i i think i, I see something going on down there I probably watched Armageddon four times in school, if I had to guess. Twelve Angry Men? You for real had a teacher who was like a letterboxed uh, poster, huh? That's kind of amazing. I can't, I can't aim my ears that low. That means they're coming up here for, for sure, bro. Right back to the well, baby. The hell's going on here? <laughs> what am I supposed to do about that? They disappeared into a portal. Anyone else? Oh. There's one. Bro, they're coming here too. Oh! She's pulling aggro. <laughs> Guys, I'm gravity assisting like a like a you know what right now. Squeeb. Now, the whole reason I came over here in the first place was to see if anybody turned on the car battery. Because I feel like Johnny and I spawned on the same side of the map. It's on. Never mind. Johnny's goaded. I got to hit level three, man. It's my only chance. Have you ever seen the Brave Little Toaster? Yeah, I kind of have like a bone to pick with um, the Brave Little to Toaster. Even Toy Story. I think that they're good movies, but they do sort of like, I mean, for me as a kid, I never wanted to throw anything out because Disney primed me to believe that everything that I owned that was an inanimate object actually had feelings and was like a personality and a soul and stuff like that. So it was like, even if I never play with like this toy, I can't throw it out because it's a real dude. Like I'm actually committing murder. Now that being said, you know, I think it's a situation, the juice is worth the squeeze. We got some great movies out of it. Don't get me wrong. Let's go! And now I'm like the opposite. Like if my wife came to me, it was like, what do you think of that shirt? I would be like, that's my favorite shirt. If she said, do you want to donate it? I'd be like, yeah, let's send it, bro. <laughs> I'll throw out anything. You might say that's not based. Well, when I say throw out, by the way, I mean donate. But I think it is based because the other part of the coin is that I don't buy like almost anything. I buy food. And I eat it. And I buy too much food, and that is in, it, in and of itself wasteful. But it tastes amazing. But it's not like I'm going out and I'm getting like a new wardrobe every year. And then I'm like taking it to the Salvation Army. I'm getting like two shirts. Oh, sorry, sir. And then like the next summer, I'm throwing out two different shirts. Grandpa's young, dumb, and full of blood. True. Based John C. McGinley quote. Ooh, great watch over, Grandpa! You see that TikTok investors post from today where the dude was like, um, it's very simple. All you have to do is compound your money at 2.5% a day. Yeah, you go around the other side. I got it. I got, I got the gravity assist. 
He was like, if you start with $10,000 and you compound your money at two and a half percent a day, within a year, you've taken that $10,000 and turned it into a million dollars. Guys, I found her. Thank you, Leatherface. Thank you. She's still, she's right beneath you, Leatherface. Don't worry, she's down there. Oh, she looks like she might be in a, in a lick of trouble. Go get her? My ass is so slow. What the hell? She's insane with it? Guys, guys! Guys! The shack! The camisole! Oh, let's go. They're illuminated. Oh! <laughs> Please tell me she fell down and she's like unconscious down there. Get dropped, kid. It's the same fucking lady, bro. I'm not meant to be in the basement. This is not my Kia Forte. It's a damn generator. Cook in the basement. Joker at the baseball game. These, I'm an only child, and even I know about the pincer attack, okay? What's your excuse? Also, where the hell is the hitchhiker, man? We call it the Eiffel Tower? No, the fuck we don't. You, you social assassin. Do not get caught playing tag and saying, you go this way, I'll go that way, and when we catch them, we'll give them an Eiffel Tower. You will find yourself on a list. I mean, if you're going to spend this much time in my house, I'm just going to make you start paying rent, okay? Okay, the pincer attack, pincer attack, Eiffel Tower. Bro, she's so fast. And we're so ass. I gotta take the damn long way home too. Let her live, she's earned it. Bro, come on. They're getting out! The leather fed, they're not getting out. Look, they're right there! They're healing! They're both here, help me! Oh, he's helping me. I appreciate that. Okay, this is insanity. She's chain healing. I'm out of stam. Can we get a little a, a little help here? We got three killers, man. <laughs> I'm gonna lose my mind. Never mind, I'm not gonna lose my mind. Okay, where's she going? She's going this way. It's my responsibility to take the other side. I can't get out that way. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna shit my pants and die. Meanwhile, dude's going. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, there they are. They're going. How did the? I guess they did it. Congratulations, honestly. I didn't know this thing was open. I thought it gave. I guess we were in the house, so we didn't hear like the. Bzzz. Okay, I need help. I need help at the vent. The vent door. I need help over here. It closed. I'm covering my spot. <laughs> Where are the other killers? I'm kind of losing my mind, for sure. Just wait for it. Our leather face must have left. I mean, like, that's the only explanation. Nope, I hear the chainsaw. <laughs> Yes, a ping would be sick. Feels good though. I don't get that many opportunities to like play a game and insult my teammates. Usually I'm like apologizing for my own poor play. That's the generator. <laughs> Wait a minute. Just getting some damn bone scrap, man. I can't. <laughs> On the bright side, I must be farming up a lot of blood points right now that I can then use to get the level 3 ability in 20 years. So that's pretty exciting. I got that going for me, which is nice. Kate, what are you cooking? It smells amazing. Is that the, is that the juke? It's the generator. It's my soup. Oh, my soup. My soup. Help yourself, by the way. It is delicious. It's pretty good soup. I'm a good, I'm a good soup maker. Okay, guys, don't worry. We win these. After you, Leatherface. I'll keep an eye on her. <laughs> Worst possible place to be looking, but never mind. Never mind. Look at that fucking tracking. Look at that fucking tracking. I know exactly what to take a more bone scrap, man. I'm about to lose my damn mind. Hitchhikers on the other side of the motherfucking map. I just gotta figure out what door they're gonna pop up through. Follow me, motherfucker, you follow me. They're popping up over here, okay? No, they're popping up next to grandpa. Yeah, they're about to open that door. Here they come. Here they come, Gary. Or are they going for the other one over there? This is the longest game I've ever seen. I mean, it is like... Uh, it's a little ridiculous. I mean, I could go down to the basement to try to help, but like... It's not where my talents are best served. Leatherface disconnected. Fantastic. I know you're down there. <laughs> At this point, I cannot leave. Because then you've won by wasting my time, which is apparently less valuable 
are more valuable than yours. Did you, is that the hitchhiker just hit that? It is, okay. TCS Amazon is way out. I don't think so. I think it just needs some tweaking. You know, this isn't James Bond. You know, it's not everything or nothing. When it comes to me, the only thing that's everything or nothing is bagels. When it comes to me, bagels are like James Bond video games. Is everything or is nothing? When it comes to... If you're asking me, James Bond video... If you're asking me, bagels are like... I'm working on it, okay? Here you go, Grandpa. <laughs> Here you go. I heard it in Shibley's tweet. Yeah, I was workshopping it. You know, if you saw me in Peoria, don't go to Chicago and say, like, I heard this joke in Peoria. I was practicing it for when I came to Chicago. <laughs> Sneaky. Here we go. Can I get some help? I hate to do this. I'm going to go to all chat. I'm going to put him on blast. I hate to do this. <laughs> Johnny, follow me and we own her. <laughs> She's doing the damn few. She's stabbing grandpa. Here we go. Now he's like, I'm here, where is she? <laughs> She's right there, dude. Oh my god. Push her, push her. Johnny! Johnny, stay on the push, please. I'm going around. Yeah, yeah, we got her on the ropes now. It would be nice if we had a leather face. Oh, hello. Thank you. Oh no, she's gonna leave. The doors are all open. <laughs> oh, he's been uh, he's been sniffing it at the very least. Johnny, please, Johnny, Johnny, I'm. Doesn't he have an ability that's like he can taste your footprints or something? Like, why is he? So, I hate to say this. Why is he so ass? You're making me toxic. But why am I the only person that's, that's able to keep my eyes on her? You love to say it? Ah, it's just one of the few times my toxicity's actually been warranted, I feel. It's crazy, too. You know these people are posted on r slash Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and they're like, dead game. <laughs> it's too easy for people like me to ruin the game. I'm, I'll just be honest with you, Johnny. My ass is slow, okay? Like, I'm doing my best. Let's keep our ears peeled. Okay, Johnny, she's back of house. Back of house. You go that way, I'm doubling back. Wait for it. Oh, she fucking took the gate, bro. 
Where's Leatherface? He DC'd because he's weak. I don't even care if this shit's locked. At this point, I would rather they escaped. Oh my god, we got them? Thank you! Thank you! We did it! And I never doubted it for a second. <laughs> That's the most points I've ever gotten, bro. Disconnected. Zero kill disconnected. That's a classic. Killed by Johnny. Anna. Reported for XP farming. Me when I get a 60-day ban from Q because I called my teammate Dogwater in the game about murder. Soup. Oh, soup. Do you think they called it um, soup because it tastes so super? Or do you think they were like, hey, we need a word to describe something that's amazing? How about the, it relates to the most amazing thing on earth? Soup. Oh. Compliments to the chef. <laughs> <laughs> it was me. <laughs> it was me. That is good. Show it. I can't. The bowl is a little too hot. What kind of soup is it? I just, it's just something I threw together. <laughs> Describe it. Chicken, celery, onions, carrots, garlic, herbs and spices. Chicken stock, kind of like the freest food on the planet. Did you know a cup of chicken stock? It's warm, it's flavorful, it's tasty. A cup, 250 milliliters of chicken stock, five calories. 38% of your daily allotment of sodium, to be fair. Mmm. <laughs> and what are the spices? I'm just telling you sincerely. I pull out the spice drawer and I look at the spice and I say yes or no. And then some spices are a lot, some spices are a little. Oregano, yes, give me a couple pinch. Salt, pepper, of course. Don't, don't stop till you're numb. Cumin, that's a, that's a yes and that's a lot. Cinnamon, that's for this soup, that's a no. Bay leaf, sure, I'll put a couple bay leaves in there. Um, garam masala, nah, we don't need any garam masala in this. You choose, the, you choose appropriate spices, you put them in, you taste it. You go, mm, needs a little something. What is it? Here's, your, here's the trick for you. It's always Worcester sauce, every time. And you don't taste the Worcester sauce. You put it in for look. You put it in and you go, does that look like a good soup? And when the answer is yes, ooh. Is the soup lumpy? Yes, I have teeth. Mm. Delicious. What are the lumps? The ingredients in the soup. What would put it over the top? Great question. Toasted ciabatta bun. For dipping. Okay, it's getting my mouse pad dirty now. We gotta stop that. Me tomorrow? Why is my mouse sticky? Okay, 
My guy doesn't have an immersion blender? No, motherfucker, I'm just not from England. I don't need all my soups to look like clam chowder, okay? I don't mind a broth that's got like visible ingredients in it. And you know what we call it? We call it chicken and vegetable soup. We don't go, oh yeah, this is kakaliki on a roll. Get owned. Dude, they're making so much noise down there. What the? I just woke up! This is en route to be the fastest game of all time. I'm from the UK. How did you know? Because people in the UK love a soup that looks like a country gravy, which is totally fine. But like, you know, don't, don't just assume that every soup has to go to those exact criteria. Your ass will be like... Uh, Oh, can I get the wonton soup? What the hell? There's lumps in it. What's a country gravy? It's gravy that's white. I don't know what the other defining characteristic of it is, to be honest with you. Mushy peas looking ass. <laughs> what am I doing out here? This is where the car battery is. <clears throat> we just call it gravy. We do, and here, gravy is brown, and white gravy is called country gravy. In our world, what country? I am in. The Confederation of Canada. Sorry for the soup burp. I apologize. Also known as sausage gravy. Yes. Sausage. <laughs> I don't know what this. I just needed to say something. Sorry. Whoa! Whoa! Tell me! Guys, there's a bunch of unruly teenagers here kicking me in the nuts! I'm in trouble! They're gonna dunk on me! They're going crazy on me! Okay, thank you for defending me, sissy. I appreciate that. Leland sprung, bros. Leland is sprung. They did try to gank me. Okay, I, I can't confront. Oh, where is he? Where is he? I don't know where he is. I don't know where you fucking are. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Mario Party. Oh. Here we go. Might as well. Something did happen to Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Like a week ago, it wasn't this bad. <laughs> the survivors have gotten too confident. We need a... Um, oh, they're escaping? Yes. We need a... Um, no, not bots, the opposite. I mean, like, they're, they're arrogant, insubordinate, and churlish. We definitely need the gamers, and by gamers, I mean the developers of the game, to come and save us. Because the survivors are becoming bullies. Car battery is still on. Okay. Okay. Love, I love that for us. Dead by Daylight fans found the game. Dead by Daylight fans be like, nobody ruins my favorite game but me. <clears throat> okay, you got more patience than me. You 
You got more patience than me. Congratulations. I am leaving. Here I go. Goodbye. Goodbye. Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, 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 oh! Oh! I got no stam. Comms, comms. Help me, comms. I hear Leatherface, Leatherface! Yes! I'm typing it all, Chad! <laughs> He got her! Disconnected. Oh, no, the killers are so toxic. It does feel like way more satisfying to get a kill now. Because I am I feel like I'm killing a person who's very annoying. In the game, in the game. Oh no, bro. <laughs> I'm about to get <laughs> POV, you are about to get destroyed by chain ganks. Turn it off? That shit's in the damn basement, man. I'm not making it all the way down there. I see you're at, oh, Jesus. Make him whiff. Oh, you whiffed, you whiffed it. <laughs> no, I turned my back to him. No, no, no. All right, at least he ran away. I don't think there's any BM there. Well, not much. Not as much as I'm used to. Nicki Minaj executed. That's terrible news. Point me? Give me some points? Oh. Is it? What the hell, what the hell you hate Nick, Nicki Minaj for, man? She's just a singer at the end of the day. All death is bad because it goes against the Japanese concept of watashi, which means respecting life. I should not have gotten 440 points. I should have gotten like a thousand. I basically got the Julie kill, okay? You know it. I baited them. It's called the gravity assist. Hang on. Please. Oh, I'm still so fucking far away. Oh my God. <laughs> no. Kate was watching this YouTube video on like fake food and how to spot it. What, what is fake food? You know, like maple syrup versus table syrup, for example, or fake wasabi versus real wasabi. I'm not a food snob about a lot of things. I will tell you, I think if you gave me the Pepsi challenge for real wasabi versus fake wasabi, I get it 10 out of 10 times. You know when it's not real wasabi. And I don't mind the fake little toothpaste, okay? 
It, but it just takes it to the next level when you see the fine little granules. But table syrup versus maple syrup, that's one that throws me for a damn loop. Because maple syrup is so good. And table syrup is so ass. No disrespect. What the hell is table syrup? Table syrup is fake maple syrup. Is maple syrup cheaper in Canada? No, it's still really expensive. Why is it called table syrup? Because they can't call it maple syrup. And if they called it something descriptive, you would be like, ooh, I'm not buying that shit. I'm going to buy this stuff in the little the tin can that you need one of those to crack open. In America, it's called pancake syrup. Didn't know that. I mean, up here we call it table syrup, I think. Did you make your own in Ontario? Yes, I arose from my igloo early in the morning. I saluted the northern lights, went out to my acreage and uh, tapped a few maple syrup trees. No, I did not make my own maple syrup. I lived in a house in a, in a suburb of a city. Poured a glass of milk from a bag. Yep, sang my, sang Celine Dion's version of the national anthem. What does maple syrup cost in Canada? It costs a lot of money. Oh, we're fucked. She's telling me that I that she did it. Okay. It's still expensive. You know why? Because it's not just expensive to make maple syrup. There's a, d a demand factor as well. Maple syrup tastes delicious, so lots of people want to buy it, so they can charge more for it than, you know, just the, the cost of producing the good. Car battery starts on now. Let's go. One more blood, Grandpa? Maybe next time? Why don't they just release the maple syrup reserve? Because a lot of good people work in that fucking industry, bro. They have to protect the prices of that shit. Otherwise, like everything else is a race to the bottom. One generation, you're like, oh, Pog, t-shirts are $9 instead of $20. This is incredible. Next generation, you're like, why can't my kid find a stable union manufacturing job? It's because your ass got addicted to $9 t-shirts, dumbass. We got to take care of each other. Let me guess. It's the generator. One of these days, it's not going to be the generator, and I'm going to pog up. People be like, of course we're buying $9 t-shirts. Nobody can afford a $25 t-shirt anymore. I know because you started buying the $9 t-shirts when you could afford the $25 t-shirts and now there's no fucking... Okay, hang on. Was that sissy that opened that? It must have been. Generator. Not generator. Oh, there's people! How high could demand be? Bro, have you ever tasted maple syrup? It's delicious. It's one of the most delicious foods you can get from Mother Nature. It's like pure sugar, but like of a maple variety. Anybody moving? Nobody's moving. Okay, level one grandpa. That's pretty not good. That's the generator. Ah, uh, that's the generator. Somebody's got to move, man. That's the generator. <laughs> I 
what do you use it on besides pancakes and waffles? Um, you can use it as a sugar substitute in any dish that requires sweetness. And it'll give it that little extra maple kick to it. Okay, this is a joke. <laughs> One more. It's real good for pastries. It's just tasty, man. It's just a tasty food. Can I tell you something? I had a, I had a unique experience in Vancouver that I, I had not had in a while. I had lunch at a British pub on Saturday. It just happened to be in the neighborhood. I said, I've never seen this place before. I said, all of the bangers and mash. Typical Vancouver bangers and mash. One long sausage three ounces of mashed potatoes. This, bangers and mash, three medium-sized sausages, and I would say approximately one potato, comma, mashed. And then on top of that, actually good brown gravy. And then on top of that, I got soup in the throat. On top of that, baked beans, which I don't really like, but I appreciated the gesture. I was like, you can still get a, a bargain in this city. You just got to know where to look. Now, the place will probably be closed down due to margin compression. Any day now. <laughs> Hello, Leland. Now, that's going to trip him up. They're like, eh, it turns out nobody wants, like, uh, hearty British food here. Everybody wants a $19 California roll. Weren't you talking about $9 t-shirts before? Yeah, but, like, I mean, these bangers and mashes were supporting hardworking Canadian jobs, bro. Grandpa's in danger, guys. <clears throat> We're getting trolled again. He's not incapacitated, bro. He's just tired. That's what happens when you park him outside. You can't have shit in Texas, man. I left my grandpa outside. Came back, some unruly teenagers were stabbing him in the throat with bone shards. This game might be cooked. Listen, I didn't want to believe it, but like it's actually like... I mean, every game is, is griefers. This is like at a Diablo 4 level of urgency right now. I don't want it to be cooked, but uh, I mean, it's, it's having a hard time beating the allegations right now. Is that good or bad? Cooked is bad, unfortunately. Can I tell you, I was trying to think about how to explain this. My first thought was the human brain is so uncooked, but then uncooked is also bad. Cooked, cooked is bad. Uncooked might even be worse. Well, I'll tell you why. I've been racking my damn brain. Oh, here we go again. I'm pretty sure that's probably not the reaction that devs want you to have when you find someone in hide-and-seek. It's like, oh, fuck, here we fucking go. <laughs> anyway. Um, I've been racking my brain because I remembered the name of my neighbor. I, I see him around all the time. I, do, I didn't remember the name of my neighbor's wife. And I was like, oh, man. I, one of these days, that's going to come back to bite me. I've been stabbed in the back. Oh, but we're, dude, we're doing work. So I was like, I know one day it's going to happen. I'm going to be out there, and she's going to be like, hey, Ryan, how you doing? And I'm going to be like, hey, person. And then it happened. On Sunday, I walked outside. She was sitting on her back deck and she was like, hey, Ryan, how's your weekend? My brain instantaneously went, 
pretty good, Norma. How about yours? Oh, thank you, brain. I just needed a little, uh, like, I needed to see her visage in order to kickstart the part of my brain that remembered where, that was storing where her name was. That's the generator? Norma in 2023? Yeah, dude. She lives in a, a like a single family house. She's old. <laughs> it's Vancouver. <laughs> oh, fuck. Here we go. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Yep, okay, all right. I mean, again, devs, I think you've made a good game, okay? But something's not right. You know it and I know it. This is not the way that this is supposed to be. Oh, no. Let's go! Yeah, this is not like the movie. In the movie, the teenagers were not standing around like an old man just kicking the shit out of him. They were scared, man. They were fighting for their lives out here. They should have, though. <laughs> That's a cactus. Um, there's a movie like that. It's called Ready or Not. I'd recommend it. It's pretty good. Might have missed it in the in the chaos of the pandemic. She she must have passed out. Bro, I got this one potato in my throat. It will go down. These games have always been awful solo queue. Well, then, no. I played some, like, Dead by Daylight with randoms for a bit. I had a good time. There's people who, like, ruin the game, and then they'll look at you and be like, what'd you expect? Well, I don't know. Like, when you show up at board game night, someone doesn't, like, grief the shit out of you and take it to ride, because you all sat down at the table with the idea that you're going to be friends with one another and, like, have fun. Not that you're going to, like, ruin each other's nights. <laughs> I mean, some people do, but you just don't invite those people unless you're doing Commander. In which case, they'll probably invite you. Oh, here we go again. Magic cards on the shelf? No shot. Not gonna happen. To get the ride, bad example? No, it fucking isn't, because what I'm saying is we've as gamers we've lost our way. As video gamers at least. Listen, I'm on to you guys. <laughs> TTR isn't an aggressive game. What do you mean it's not an aggressive? You, re you realize this is a video game, right? You're not out here in the trenches. Julius Caesar first over the over the wall trying to kill Vercingetorix. We're all out here doing, trying to have leisure time with one another. Some people, I don't know what happened. I've, I've been that way myself. It's like, rather than be like, oh, we could all have fun here. It's like, no, nah, I'm going to, you, you see that Reddit video of the protozoa breaking open the nematode or whatever and sucking all the juice out of it? That's what like digital gaming is like these days. And then people are like, why am I not having fun? Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Why am I not having fun? Fuck you, fuck you. 
Oh, work's so fucking boring. Can't wait till I can get home and play with my digital toy. Fucking stupid devs made the survivors too fucking OP. Uh, now I'm a survivor. Teabag, 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 teabag. Why do I hate myself? You know, these are... And things change over time. Don't get me wrong. But this video game is an extension of getting your friends together. Rolling the dice. Play. You know, our parents spend 10% of their lives on a minute-to-minute -minute basis playing fucking playing cards? You think at any point they were like, oh, oh, Mildred, the left bower's overpowered. Can we get a nerf to the left bower, please? Yeah, I mean, Euchre's pretty fun, but I think that we'd probably, they need to patch, like, Euchre. The jacks are too strong. Like, what am I supposed to do, bro? They had both bowers. No, they fucking drank, like, nine schlitzes. Probably drove home. Raised eight kids. <laughs> and then said, peace out, brother. It's the way, it's the way it should be. Someone was getting killed over here. Go feed grandpa. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry. We focus on the important stuff in life. You should have eight kids. That's no shot. That's, that's not happening. It's the generator. This guy, he's got a real problem with me. <clears throat> We've discussed this. The real replacement rate is 5.4 kids. If you live in 20th century Sweden. Holy cow, this, this, she, she's farthing. I look at anybody, I can understand two kids. Will we have a second kid? I don't know. Maybe if we could get some more familial help <laughs> with like the actual duties of raising the child. <laughs> so we're doing a good job, but it's like we're fighting for our damn lives out here. Oh, they didn't even go down the ladder. Oh, Grandpa's been immobilized. I've, I've heard that about him. Or maybe, yeah, at some point the oldest will be old enough to look after the younger one. Um, my dude is tired as hell, man. But whenever I see someone that willfully had like three kids, I'm like, God bless, man. Not me, but uh, more, more power to you. Don't get me wrong. Sips, Dan. Like, you gotta... You gotta fucking want it to have three kids. Two kids, that's basically just having one twice. <laughs> I'm sure that it gets harder with two than two times one. You know what I mean? Everybody I've talked to that has two kids is like, it's probably a little bit harder than just having... It's, it's more than twice as hard as having one kid. God, I wish I had another padlock. And three, I mean, even when we just had our, uh, our nieces here, who are like 12 and eight, I was like, holy shit, man. These kids, I mean, it's hard to make sure everybody's got the lunch that they want and kid A won't eat Thing B, thing B is kid B's favorite food. Kid C is two years old, so she's, you gotta keep an eye on her every two seconds or she might poop her pants, etc., etc. Like, that's hard enough, but then I was like, these kids are like old. This is a 12 year old and an eight year old, man. Can you imagine having three kids who are like all under the age of seven? You'd be like, oh my god. Turn on battery, it's pretty good advice. If Oh, what, if I want to win, maybe. <laughs> Grandpa's in danger. Dude, it's washed, I'm sorry. The game is, it's, it's in full wash status. I mean, this is just crazy. Just be hanging out here like, eating my soup.
playing against good survivors rip? Well, that's the thing. They're not even... I mean, they're good at not getting killed the first time they get seen. But they're just... I mean, we've killed three of them. But they're just trolling. Complaining while winning is on a new level. Honestly, Trademark Sky, I wish you all the best in your life. I, a multitude of eviscerating insults popped into my head. I've decided to be the bigger man. For me, winning is fun, but winning like that is not fun. We, were, we went to the, it was an adversarial interaction with the opposing team, essentially. You know, no, we didn't go into that game saying, hey, everybody, have a good time. We're going to play by like the, we're going to play in the spirit of the game. Instead, they were like, <laughs> it's bad sportsmanship. Exactly. And I could see the, I could see the, the stuff in between their bicuspids. The everything rice cakes. You're saying both teams were trying to make the other one lose? No. I'm saying that the survivors didn't really focus on winning. They were just focused on making the game last as long as possible. Which is fine. It's trolling. You know, it's like the way I think about it is imagine if you sat down at Friday Night Magic and your opponent's deck was like 500 cards and instead of trying to take you down to zero life, their whole goal was just to take you to time and then get a draw because you weren't able to do a best of three in 50 minutes. You would be like, I get it. You're very clever. You think you're the main character. I'm not coming next week, so enjoy an ever-dwindling social network. You're cutting off your nose to spite your face.